and without any further delay, let me introduce the greatest, the great one, number 99, Wayne Gretzky. An August day in Los Angeles, and aren't some of those faces familiar? Mike Myers, Jason Priestley, Matthew Perry, there's Janet Gretzky. And isn't that Andrew Shue of Melrose Place? And Gretzky's hockey pals, Brett Hull and Mark Messier. They're not just here to play street hockey. They're here to do business, to help launch a new athletic shoe Gretzky has endorsed. It's all part of a grand plan. As much as I've done on the ice, I've worked very hard off the ice. And off the ice, he's been quietly building a little empire. Gretzky juggles a diverse portfolio of endorsements and partnerships. There are corporate fees and royalties on everything from trading cards and posters to an interactive video game. It's Wayne Gretzky and the NHLPA All-Stars. There's his restaurant in Toronto, and now a new chain of sports-themed restaurants he's opening with other athletes. From the world of tennis, Andre Agassi. From the world of ice hockey, Mr. Wayne Gretzky. And your favorite footballer in the world, Mr. Chuck McTonough. And there's more, lots more. Can't beat the real thing. Can't beat Gretzky either, on the ice or off. The great one is money in the bank, big money. As much as $12 million a year in endorsements alone. We grew up in a blue collar family. We didn't grow up with a lot of money. And I understand that money is hard to come by, and I guess you get the sense of, okay, you have it, you don't want to just blow it and throw it away. A lesson he says he's learned from his father, so he's planning for the future. A future not without some risks. Any regrets about investing in the Argos? No, not at all, because I knew when I invested in it that I was going to lose money. <laughs> so it was a very silly investment, to be honest. Um, I'll, I did it for a couple reasons. One. I love John Candy, and he really wanted to do it with Bruce. Oh! See, you've been right down the middle if you listen to me. Oh! That's from living properly. <laughs> and while sports and business are important to Gretzky, it's family that really matters. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> you are lucky. Walter, his father, is almost fully recovered from a near-fatal aneurysm. It's still a tough time, and obviously when you go through it, it's an incredible time. You know, he went through some stages of being strapped in chairs, being strapped in beds, almost pretty much mentally retarded at one point. It was an especially difficult and, time for Gretzky's you know, on mother. On top of that, we have a, uh, I have a 50-year-old aunt who's Down syndrome, horribly Down syndrome, very, very bad Down syndrome child. And so my mother is basically taking care of two patients at once. And it has brought the family even closer together reinforcing Gretzky's belief in thinking ahead. I think in years and down the road, and I'm the kind of guy that already puts money away for my kids for college and things like that. So ah, yes, the children. Until you have your own kids, you can't experience that, that joy that you have. But you have also this, this hurt that goes with it, that you always want to protect your kids. And I think for me, that's the hardest part of being a parent. As for wife Janet, about to resume her career. We we'll still go places where people say, oh yeah, there's Wayne and Janet, you know, she had him traded to L.A. And it's so not true. And I, it's probably the most false thing uh, about my life that kind of still is out there. The, the, the trade of Wayne Gretzky was in the works well before I even met my wife. How old are you, Laura? Another charity event, another day signing autographs. His time in the hockey spotlight is running out. The fans know it, and so does he. This is a really big year for Wayne Gretzky. If I'm successful and the team does well and I play the hockey that Wayne Gretzky can play, I'll come back. If I don't, I won't come back. And if he doesn't come back, Gretzky hopes he can live happily ever after in the future he's building today.